What up guys? So in this video, pag-uusapan natin is the Python variable. So basically, a Python variable or variable. So kung may alam na kayo again in other languages, alam nyo na to. So this is very very um, easy na sa inyo kasi um, alam nyo na to eh. So ano ba ang variable or Python variable? So basically guys, a, par, um, a Python variable is is a uh, reserved memory location to store values. So basically, example is Diba in the last tutorial, um, nag-ano tayo ng data types, like integer data types, like example 1, 2, 3, yung mga whole numbers, ganun, and the float, blah, blah, blah. So, yung mga data types na yun, yung data yun, is actually, you can store it to a, um, anong tawag dyan is a variable, yun. So, parang ganito, like for example, meron kang number 9, ganyan. So, etong 9 mo na to, is pwede mo tong, um, gamitin, or should I say not gamitin, pwede mo tong ilagay, ilagay sa isang variable. So, eto, etong, this is your variable, isipin nyo lang na parang box. At the same time, this variable is pwede nyo tong pangalanan like, for example, number, anything you want. Um, anything you want, kahit anong gusto mong pangalanan dyan. Now, and then, etong 9 is pwede mo siyang ilagay dyan. Then, at the same time, once na meron na kayong variable, etong variable na to, um, pwede mo na siyang gamitin throughout your, <coughs> excuse me guys, throughout your Python program. So, after that, is gagawin natin is, yung example natin from the previous tutorial, which is yung, uh, in-explain ko yung basic data type. So, yung data yun, is isustore natin um, sa, anong tawag dyan, sa isang variable. So, basically, ina natin is integer float boolean string. So, I have here a note. Um, alam niyo na to, dapat. So, yun. So, um, how do we do it in Python? So, uh, anong ko muna sa in other languages, you do you do it like this, diba? For example, in C. So, you do is, um, the syntax is yung una is the data type then, the variable name is equal to kung anong value. Ganyan. So, in Python, guys, hindi, walang ganon. In Python, um, wala, we, do, we don't do that here in Python. So, ang gagawin mo lang in Python is variable name is equal to, ang tawag dyan, your value. Walang semi colon. Semicolon, yun, di ba? Tawag dito. <laughs> so, walang ganito, ha? Wag na wag yung gagawa, uh, wag na wag kayong, yung tawag dyan, lalagay nito, cause, although, um, mamaya, pa pakita ko. <laughs> so, basically, basta wag na kayong lalagay. Walang ganito in Python, wag nitong gawin, okay? So, um, ganito ang pag-assign, I mean, yeah, in, like, etong number 10 is, linalagay natin dito sa variable na number. So, basically, the value of number is equal to 10. So, kung gusto natin i-print out, just type, yeah, so 10, it's 10. Ang minimain ko kanina guys is, I don't know kung bakit ganito. In Python kasi like accepted niya yung may semicolon, then ganyan, walang, walang error. Pero wag na wag nyo yung gagawin guys. Don't do that because it's not a thing kasi in Python. I mean, kahit wala pa akong nakitang isang programmer na kahit, di ko lang kung bakit nag-work to, pero walang, um, nag gumaganito so wag niyo gawin guys kahit nagwo-work siya yan ganyan lang so yun this is an integer data type kung makikita niyo we can also um pwede rin natin gamitin yung type function uh, para malaman yung data type at the same time once na nag-assign ka like for example eto 10 alam natin tong integer to hindi mo di ba in python hindi mo na kailangan i-assign na in 10 so basically alam na ng python na ah this is an integer ganon so basically alam na niyan so yeah class um integer so same goes with the float um double boolean strings again I explain ko na kung ano yung about sa double so i hope na napanood niyo yung tutorial ko bago nito which is the data types basic data type so which is eto at the same time, yung character data type yon. So again, as I've said, um, yung explain ko dito is just say, the same as dito sa um, kahit anong data type, guys. So for example, um, gawin natin is, uh, for example, number, let's just say number <laughs> underscore float. I'm so bad at naming variables. <laughs> yun. So for example, 10.001. So for example naman in um, boolean underscore data is equal to, let's just say true. So, um, um, 
ganyan. So, ayusin ko lang. <laughs> so, for, um, for example, a word is equal to, ito uh, yung string, um, hello world, ganyan. So, if we want to print this out, again, so, it's just the same. So, ganyan, ganyan. Alisin ko lang to guys. So, cap pasta, oops, copy pasta, paste, paste, paste. So, um, ito yung kinagandaan rin ng Sublime is when you type, ayan, lumalabas na siya. So, boom, yung data. Say, it saves a lot of, you know, time and effort. Ganyan. So, once we print this out, it's, print niya yung value ng variables natin, which is number, number underscore float, ganyan. So, uh, yun. So, ganun lang yung concept niya. Again, ulitin ko yung ito. This is uh, how do you do it in Python. It's just the variable name is equal to the inner value. Kung anong value nun. So, again, you don't have to specify na kung ano yung data type. So, ganun kadali ang Python. Napaka, uh, should I say, flexible. Like, flexible to the point na ganun. Like, you don't need to worry about na ganun. Like, ah, anong data type to isulat. But like, automatically na. Ganun. So, if gusto mong malaman yung type, um, just type. Ganyan, alam niyo na to. So, kung magtataka kayo guys, paano ko yung ginawa in Python, I mean in Sublime, yung ganon, yung ganito. So, basically, click kayo kahit saan, press control, then left click na kahit saan, ganyan. So, it's a feature in Sublime. So, gawin ko lang is ganito, gagamitin na yung type function, ganyan. So, wait, oops, may kulang. Ito, ayan. So, yan. So, ganon. So, once we print this out, um, integer, yung 10, float is yung 10.001, boolean is the true, yung yan, so yung string is the hello world. So, ganun lang guys, that's how you do it. Um, eto, I just want to add up uh, another thing, so alisin ko na to, wait, hindi ko na alisin because ilalagay ko to sa GitHub, as I've said, all the source codes ng tutorial is nasa GitHub. Yun, sa repository ng Python. In Python, guys, um, correct me if I'm wrong, pwede tong gawin in Python in sa pagdating sa variables. So, ganito. Explain ko lang, in other languages like C, in C language, di ba you do this? For example, um, number is equal to 10. Ganyan. So, good to in C. At the same time, you do, sa next line of, ng code nyo is number is equal to hello. Pwede, pwede ba to in other languages like Java and C? Pwede. I think pwede to. Pero, di ba dito, ang uh, ginagawa nito is, ang value ng number is equal to 10. Di ba? At the same time, the, ang sunod is, yung value ng number mo is equal to a um, word na hello, which is a, um, a type string, pero you're storing it in a data type of integer. So, Pwede ba to in, in another language like C? So, pwede ata to, pero the value of number will not be kung ano to, like etong hello, hello na word na yan. So, ang maging value ata nito is a parang yung ASCII code or yung numerical value na integer data type ng, ng hello. Yung parang numerical value ata nitong hello, ay, parang oo. Pero, hindi yung exactong um, ang tawag dyan yung exactong word na hello and at the same time, integer data type pa rin yung data type ng variable mong num etong number so, yun dito, as I've said, yun yung e eto in C, for example, in C in Python naman um, pwede yung ganito, so i-comment out ko lang to para makita nyo in Python, once you do this number is equal to 10 so, ang tawag dyan, eto number is equal to 10 then, di ba i-print natin number, ganyan. ba Ganyan. Number is equal to 10. So, what if nilagay natin dito, number is equal to hello. So, print natin. It printed out hello. Yung hello mismo. So, that's the thing in Python. As I said, flexible siya. So, ang tawag ata dito, if correct me if I'm wrong, Python variables are dynamic. Correct me if the right word is dynamic. To the point na eto guys, as I've said, number dito is equal to 10. ba? And alam natin na this is a integer data type. ba? Then, sa next line ng code, number na is equal to hello. So, yun nga, as I've said, flexible, dynamic. 
na eto after after the, um mangyari to is dito naman is yung number na is equal to hello so ang magi ang data type niya na nagbago na into um, a string so ganyan so it's now a string at at the same time nagbago rin yung value ng variable mong number which is yung hello na word or na string mismo ganon so kung makikita nyo nagsisinungaling ako so print natin dito eto yan Ay, bakit ko pa sinulat <laughs> kinapi ko lang naman <laughs> my god so kung makikita nyo diba eto nag assign tayo ng number is equal to 10 print natin yung type ng number which is eto which is an integer sa then nung pinalitan natin yung value number na is equal to hello tininan natin yung type it's now a string Diba? Ganon. So, that's the thing in Python, yung pin, um, the difference of it um, compared to other languages. As I said, napaka, uh, it's flexible. Uh, as I said, yun nga, dynamic at ang tawag dito. Correct me if I'm wrong na lang. I, uh, ilagay ko na lang atin dito sa word na nagpa-pop up. <laughs> if, yeah, para, pero I think, yeah, tama. So, another thing is, eto, in naming variables, guys, one quick tip in naming variables, Wag na wag kayong ano, ang tawag dyan. Soon, magiging Python developers kayo. Gagawa na kayo ng mga complicated projects. So, it's a good thing na in Python development, you know, na yung mga variables nyo is related sa kung ano yung value. Like, for example, you have, ang magiging value ng, ang magiging value ng variable mo is, for example, 300. Ganyan. At saka yung variable name mo is ang layo naman sa value, hindi naman, like, parang walang connect, kumbaga, like, ang variable name mo is, like, pangalan ng lol champion, <laughs> ano bang example ng long, lol champion, for example, lax is equal to 300, so, parang ganoon, so, for example, dota hero, for example, um, brew, master, ganyan, is equal to 300, so, share ko lang guys, cause noon, like, may, may mga programming exercises kami, then napagalitan kami ng prof namin, cause, Yun nga, ginawa namin kasi is like, wala na kasi kaming maisip ng mga variables, like yung thing na yon So, ang tawag dyan, yun na, uh, kahit ano na lang daw yung nalagay namin na variable name na hindi naman relate sa kung ano da, yung ano yung value, like ganyan. Ginawa kasi namin is yung mga, yung mga variable names is like, ano, kahit anong, like pangalan ng Dota champ eh, ng Dota hero, kahit ano, pangalan ng LOL champion. <laughs> so, never do that guys. So, yun, it's not a good programming practice. Of course, hindi ko to palalagpasin. So, thank you so much to Smash Mac Nightshade. So, <laughs> sorry guys, again, if di ko ma-pronounce correctly, pero thank you so much talaga. Dark Haru, thank you. Melissa Herrera, thank you so much. Juna, Junal then uh, Elon <laughs> bro thank you so much so April Lee Valest Valesteros thank you so much po and Cromwell Neri thank you so much Kurozai Kurozai Gaming thank you so much po so and Dennis Griarte so thank you so much and Mark Laban thank you and Michelle Canoy so thank you again thank you so much guys for your support sa channel. So, yun. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next tutorial.